Hey, it's Tanya and welcome to my channel. And yes, I am finally finishing off this Alice in Wonderland theme traveler's notebook. It is epic and I keep adding more and more to it and yeah I went out today with Jessica just to go and do some shopping and there was a second hand book sale going on so I spotted that Alice book there so I decided I definitely wanted to incorporate that and these little pockets that I am fiddling with now they are an Etsy printable and I sewed around them with my new sewing machine so I was all very chuffed with that and yes I have an Alice themed glue stick thingy i know it's a, it's ridiculous actually i have become completely and utterly obsessed and yeah well what can i say i go all in when i decide to do something themed apparently i am actually pretty chuffed because i have got through most of the stuff that i put aside for this i finished three i think it's three rolls of washi tape and all the printables that i did print i have stuck in there in some way and that little Alice book I'm going to use all the pages up in and most of the pages in this Traveller's Notebook come from my Bento stationery box. So yeah, I have used up a lot of stuff and I have had tremendous amount of fun making this, uh, making this journal. And I think, I do believe I mentioned it in my previous one, uh, the idea that I'm going to use it for is when I next go on a you know, a big holiday, like a trip overseas or something, I am going to use this as my journal. And I think it could be a lot of fun because there's, I'm trying to create spaces where I can journal and, you know, put photographs and things. Uh, it's like a junk journal, um, very much a junk journal, I guess. And I'm figuring that uh, it could work. Not 100% sure thinking about it now because you know you've got a whole bunch of photographs and one of the colors of the photographs don't really go with us but I think it could still be fun so we'll, we'll see we'll see who knows I have no idea when my next big adventure um, overseas trip will be so uh, I might in the end just use it as a journal and write down thoughts and things which uh, is not something I do often <laughs> so yeah I, I thoroughly enjoyed putting those those pockets in, um, super easy, you know, you printed them out and then I, I stitched around them to give them a bit more of uh, uh, texture to it. And yeah, I loved this little, the, the colours of this particular Alice um, book. So that's why I'm sticking them in and uh, I think this is where, yep, there we go. That's another washi roll used up and I just thought it was so nice to bring in some of the story and just bright colors and things yeah maybe I should just look at it and have it as a, a what an ode to Alice <laughs> no I will use it I will use it and yeah so the ideas in here is you know you just uh, take a whole bunch of Alice seam stuff and shove it in and uh, washi tape obviously is great for tipping in stuff and uh, gluing stuff in and that actually the sewing trick I picked up from a reet where you sew around things um, when it's not in the book because obviously you can't really put that book through your sewing machine and it looks like it's sewed on there and meanwhile it's actually not so and yeah this is a, a non-dated diary well I mean I know a non-yeared diary uh, that I picked up at a book sale again this is I actually picked that up and that's when the whole Alice Alice obsession started and I figured you know by putting that in that pocket it's giving me more journaling space and I do a flip through right at the end so you can see the the final beast because it is a beast it's huge uh, I went absolutely nuts <laughs> but that's okay and I think uh, I think I almost finished that washi roll as well so yeah the um, I've been playing around with journals and that uh, on the right hand side there that's holding some ephemera I had an idea of using it as a cover for a journal you know like a traveler's notebook cover but it didn't quite go according to plan so I then just used it as a folder so I mean it can be quite a quite a cute folder um, having now got the sewing machine that sews like a dream I'm trying to think of all the things that I can sew you know you would think I would go and get some material or something and actually sew something useful but no not yet <laughs> that's that's not part of the plan <laughs> 
So you'll see I've got those little um, post-it tabs at the top there. What I did a while back is I went through and sort of tabbed every page that I felt needed more. I know, I'm, I know why, why on earth I feel like it needs more is beyond me. So uh, that's what I'm doing is just, you know, finding the pages that have got the tabs on and uh, oh, just putting something else in there and and cutting up. And yeah, this, I don't know, I had some idea I was going to do something with it and I just chop it down and shove it in the pocket because uh, it gives a pop of colour and uh, who knows, maybe I could stick a photograph on it. Who knows? So yes, <laughs> so lots of that is going. I must say, I am, I really have enjoyed doing the whole printable thing and... You know, it's that immediate satisfaction of being able to purchase something, get it instantly. And yeah, you've got to print it at home, but uh, or you can take it to somewhere and they'll print it for you. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's great. <laughs> and the idea of cutting out some of the words I actually picked up from watching a, a woman on YouTube. Uh, I think she's called 49 Dragonflies or something. She does a lot of uh, junk journals and that kind of thing and uh, gosh she has a lot of uh, great tips and things that she does she actually lives in Austria too like my friend does so uh, yeah there's two very bright creative people in Austria that I well I don't know the one but I do know the other one but that is by the by and so yeah I keep showing you how I'm putting these pages in which is starting to bore me to death so it must be starting to bore you to death but don't worry I'm going to stop that soon and go on to something else uh, maybe a little bit more interesting in what I'm doing but those pockets are just ultra ultra cute and uh, yeah so there we go sticking in more journaling journaling space and I'm hoping I'm going to ah here we go oh no more <laughs> but I have a different oh no there we go there we go that was the other uh, washi roll that I used up and yeah I put that one in at the end because of course it says the end and uh, yeah there's some rub-ons that uh, you will have known seen me in my previous videos I have three I think I have three videos where I show you how I've put this this traveler's notebook together so if you are interested you can go back and have a look at them but honestly there's no no real need you can see what I'm doing here it's uh it's a matter of sticking in envelopes and putting on washi tape and having enough Alice theme stuff to uh to keep me happy <laughs> oh yeah I don't know what it is about uh about her and the story which just captures everybody's imagination but it really does and I, I, there were actually, oh, Jessica, <laughs> she's so sweet. There were a couple more Alice books at this book sale and I was looking at them and I was going to buy them and she said to me, no, mum, you have enough stuff, which is true, I do have enough stuff. And she says, and they were beautiful, even though they were secondhand books, they were, they were beautiful quality, uh, you know, really almost brand new. She says, rather leave them for some child to buy and treasure than have you come and cut it up and put it in your journal. And I had to admit that she had a point there. So I just took that. <laughs> I just took the one. And yeah, these I picked up off um, Amazon UK, actually. It's uh, obviously it's trim, but it's got sticky stuff on it. So that just makes my day because uh, it's so easy to use. So yeah, I'm sticking some of those down to uh, oh, give some more, some more texture and uh, this, oh, I, I've been doing a bit of purchasing lately and I saw somebody, I can't remember who had this, uh, it comes from Japan, it's a hole punch um, and it's, it's really, really fantastic. It goes through, a, you know, very thick material very easily and it's got a very small tip on it, this one, but you can buy others. So I think I'll buy a slightly bigger one as well when I get a chance and... Uh, but yeah, you can obviously then punch a hole any way you like. It's really nifty and it works very well. And here I am putting this charm. comes from James Burks's Patreon box for September. I finally got mine. So I'm putting that on there. And ah, another, another purchase from Japan. These are tabs. Um, inkjet, you know, you can run them through your printer. And what I did is I took some of those, again, those were printables I got off Etsy, and I just ran it through and didn't really look to where I had um, positioned it. It didn't really bother me. And yeah, I'm using them as tabs and randomly placing tabs all over the, this little journal. Not little, it's huge. This this humongous beast of a journal. 
and yeah so that's going to you know add some interest as well and here we go I now I'm going to give you the whole flip through and uh, as you can see there I've got envelopes and there's Tomoe River paper in there and there's all the bits and pieces that came from my stationary bento box and yes a lot of the papers as well are from a coloring in book that I got that was Alice themed and uh, printables as you can see there so yeah as you can see there's a lot going on and I'm just there's I reckon it can work for a for a journal where you're going to stick photographs in I don't know what do you think do you think I just went absolutely mad and I have now created this this journal which I can't do anything with I hope not <laughs> I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think it'll work. I think you can, you know, you make a junk journal out of anything and you can put photographs and writing on it and it looks good. And you can see there that I still do have pages which are completely blank and that bothers me. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get the washi, good old trusty washi, and just jazz that up a bit because honestly that was just way too plain or just not good enough at all. And uh, yeah, most of my washies came from AliExpress and I have stamps that were Alice themed that I used in there as well. And that little that little journal book that I've shoved in there that came from a sticky sticky club kit. And yeah, I really love the pockets. I, I must say did I did well with the pockets. And uh, yeah, there's oh, as you can see. And we haven't even got to the middle of the book yet. <laughs> I know, I know, I went absolutely cray cray. Um, what can I say? I, I, I do everything. There we go, in the middle. I do everything in excess. So, and those florals, botanicals, they come from a, a flower book that I found again at a second hand shop. So, uh, I've been very inspired by a lot of the junk journal videos that I've seen. There's this, way too plain. But I decide to just leave it like that because I'm supposed to be doing a flip through and not. Uh, and not, you know, adding more stuff. Yeah, I didn't stick that properly because the sticky on the back is kind of showing through and it was bothering me a bit there, but um, I do sort it out later off camera. I've stuck some clear sellotape on the back of it, so it's not going to bother me. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I've been heavily, heavily inspired by uh, watching people make junk journals and they really are a lot of fun to make. So I need to decide on what on what new obsession I may come up with. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking Peter Rabbit, Br'er Rabbit, um, Beatrix Potter. Wouldn't that be a fantastic one to make? But there's loads of printables for that too. Yeah, I think I might do that. <laughs> Mainly because I bought this really cute, <laughs> again, at the second hand book sale today, I bought a really cute uh, Peter Rabbit book. Uh, it's very, very, very pretty that I could use. But uh, yeah, I'm just getting Alice in there because, yeah, well, what can you say? You've got to put in. And this is also, I've mentioned this little little nifty tool um, before it has the slightest tip of the knife so that you can you know uh, what can you do you can cut like that and it only takes the top layer off it doesn't um, harm the bottom layer so there we go I think we are almost almost at the end so I if you're still here you know mad props to you for for wading through this this video with me and I really do appreciate it and I hope that maybe you got some inspiration from some of the things in this journal and uh, are inspired to make your own Alice one or I think a Winnie the Pooh one could also be awesome. Love Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah. Yeah you know any of those uh, any of the stories that take us back to our childhood when uh, you know, it was fun and we had, we didn't have to worry about anything because, you know, our mums and dads and things worried for us. <laughs> now I'm getting very philosophical. But yeah, so we're coming to the end. So thank you so much for watching this. And um, I would appreciate uh, a like if you wish to, a comment if you would like to engage. Otherwise, I wish you a very, very merry day. And uh, yeah, we'll chat again soon sometime. There's my chunky monkey. Uh, have a great day. Bye.